very first half, uh, we saw a lot of things that are natural in this team, but but today I thought we we improved uh, sequences and the quality, and we kept saying that we have to be more polished and finish the games. Second half, I have to recognize that Houston made us defend much lower than we wanted. Uh, and then we end up with uh, emergencies and emergencies in a, in, a, in a game that could have been defined earlier. So that taste of uh, not having a complete game is probably what we have right now, but uh, I have to recognize also that the players uh, get a credit for the New England in the third, in the middle of the week. I know they don't want me to say it, but I have to put all the things there, and that's why it make this victory even better. This is good. Uh, magnify the point in New England too, so we're 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 keep on. Era mucho que que Archana ha marcado goles por el primero porque los nueve tienen que marcar goles. Podemos hablar de muchas cosas, pero los delanteros deben marcar goles. Esa es su responsabilidad. Y él está haciendo trabajo importante eh, consiguiendo consistencia en eso y estamos muy felices porque nos ha ayudado un montón los partidos se ganan con goles y, y si nuestro 9 está marcando goles es una buena noticia lo mismo la inclusión de Mauricio eh, de, de saber que eh, es un jugador determinante en nuestra fase ofensiva Paco sigue cogiendo ritmo Así que ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Eh, de verdad creo que creamos tanto que en el primer tiempo, cuando, cuando estamos en nuestro, nuestro momento de buenos, deberíamos ser más finos, pero, pero vamos, si tenemos paciencia con nosotros mismos, el equipo va a ir, va a ir, a, va a ir tomando el color que queremos. Great question, because this is what we do as a coach is every day, of how can we make that cohesiveness happen in the team with players that are in a different calendar that we came out with now games and some of them in the national team, some others coming from injury, some others just coming with a rest that it was well deserved. And then create the connections and make everybody again start in the same page or in the same symphony or in, in the same mode. So that that, that coherence as you mentioned is difficult to get. I saw it in the first half. That's why today I want to remark that effort. And uh, no woke up uh, somewhere thinking that the second half was, was uh, full of urgencies, emergencies, defending. But, uh, the, the team needs to, uh, needs to lift. And, and, and then as we played in the first half, just keep going. That, that's, that's what we need to aim. Eh, muy buenas noches. Eh, felicitaciones por la victoria. De cara a lo que viene, se viene un partido frente a Cincinnati y otro frente, frente a Nashville eh, por los cuartos de final de la Open Cup. ¿Se priorizará el partido de Open Cup eh, con un equipo netamente titular, equipo A, para los cuartos de final y quizás poner un mixto en Nashville, eh, perdón, contra Cincinnati o viceversa? ¿Cómo va a ser eh, haciendo los dos partidos eh, back to back? Sí, son dos partidos muy importantes. Uh, we're talking about a cup game against Nashville and, and the next game against uh, Cincinnati in the proximity of the game. Y, y como lo vamos a, a jugar. Yo creo que nuestra responsabilidad es eh, apostarle a los dos, dos torneos. Yo creo que los jugadores profesionales deben rendir en, en, en ese tiempo. ¿no? Yo creo que tengo nómina para hacerlo también. I think we have a good, a good roster to mix, and then, but also professional players that we are, and we're ready to to attend both. Queremos darle prioridad a la Copa porque sé que es algo importante para Orlando, pero seguir también en la Liga. Estamos recuperando jugadores. Vamos a mezclarlos bien, pero quiero decirte que adquirimos la responsabilidad de, de la de la Liga y de la Copa. No, no tenemos excusas. We want to take that responsibility to accomplish both objectives, to play and keep going in the league. And
bring to Orlando uh, another final and, and the cup game in this case, that is what, what we want. Ojalá, vamos a traer la final a Orlando. Sí, mira, esa pregunta para los entrenadores es una muy buena pregunta porque uno siempre quiere más. Y, y lo digo no porque estemos descontentos o infelices con el roster, lo digo porque eh, sé que los equipos entre más refuerzos tengan mejor. Vamos a esperar, hemos sentido que acá nos están apoyando mucho, la lesión de Gastón, que, que también le dimos la bienvenida, que ya está acá, nos influyó mucho en, en esas decisiones, y, y, pero, pero sí estamos trabajando con eso. I think it's another good question about the roster and if we can move or try to get somebody else. Um, and the answer is that we are in that mode of just trying to enforce or trying to make the team and the roster better. But uh, uh, we'll see. We, we have a lot of support here. And then unfortunately, what happened with Gaston, it was, uh, you know, football things. But Listen, we, we walk from New England with a point and we thought that we could have done more, but we needed the three points in order just to make that adding interesting for us. So now we have four out of the six and that's something that we can build on. We have not been consistent, and we know. We need that consistency going. But it's a, I think it's a, I think it's a, good, it's a good thing to start with. Uh, listen, the last six points, we have one. And we have the cup in front of us, and then and then we're going. Vamos a seguir sumando, vamos a seguir con esa mentalidad que vamos. La temporada larga, ojalá que lleguemos bien a los Que lleguemos primero y que lleguemos muy bien. Muchas gracias. Uh, I think uh, we all feel good because uh, we have a little break uh, and we brief everybody and everybody has time to be uh, to recover and now I think we are back and we are good with one draw and one win uh, and yeah for myself I, uh, I'm getting my confidence and my teammates help me to score and I'm happy to help my team for them. The break was great because I uh, I had my wedding there and I was back home. I, I'm very thankful for the club, the, the coaches. Uh, they let me go and uh, do my wedding and become back. And I was refreshed and uh, yeah, I'm very happy. And now we are back on track and uh, uh, I think we do it. We all train together and we, we are uh, connecting every day better. And uh, they are really good, <coughs> really good players. And, uh, I see us in the training, we are getting connected and um, yeah, I'm very happy that the guys play with me, uh, I have the guys uh, behind me and um, they help me to score and uh, we all want to win. Hi Arjena, uh, congrats on your brace. Um, how important it is to have obviously Pedro back and uh, right on the defense and also I wanted to ask uh, Jake Mulraney, how is he now, he's a member of, of the team, how is he? off the pitch you know with you guys these guys are very united uh front uh how is he off the pitch and you know you can see today he had a great performance yeah uh, first of all for pedro pedro is very important for us uh, he he's a great goalkeeper he's a great person and he helped us every game uh, you see also in this game and for jake uh, jake is a great person also off the pitch uh, he wants to work, he wants to be a part, and now he's a, he's a part of the team, and uh, yeah, he's he doing great. Hard to, to come uh, from the break because, uh, yeah, it's always hard when we have days off, and yeah, the draw was, was, was not the best because, yeah, but uh, it's, it's good for us because it's, it was a away game, and now we have a win, we have four points in, in one week, and we must to keep going it, and we have a lot of games, and we must to be focused. <laughs> For me, it was uh, more Mauricio's than mine, but uh, he say at the celebration, he say it's your goal, and I celebrate. And, <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, also this goal is great because it's important that the team win. I'm happy that the goal is mine because it's always good for a striker <laughs> to have goals. And yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Obviously tonight we, we got the win and it's always good to get the, the three points. I feel like we, we should have put the game away earlier uh, given the chances that we had. And uh, against New England, uh, we, got the, we got the tie uh, playing an away game on the turf. It's always tough uh, playing out there, uh, but I definitely feel that we, we also got uh, some chances that we, and we could have gotten all the three points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we've definitely been uh, creating the chances necessary to to put the games away, but uh, something's been missing. The the finishing is not quite there yet, and I think we we really do need to improve on that because uh, if we don't put the games away, then the teams are gonna come back and uh, they're gonna score on you, and then we're gonna suffer until the end, uh, like we did tonight. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that we have a, a very good squad overall, and uh, we just need to improve on that, and we'll be. Important. Obviously, now we're uh, at, the, at the middle of the season, and uh, if we can get that, uh, that streak going uh, and uh, start making points uh, week in and week out, that's what we want to do because we want to cement our, our place in the playoffs as soon as possible. Really good, maybe a little bit slow, uh, slower than uh, the one we had before, uh, but it felt just fine. It felt just fine, and uh, I think that we could, uh, we could implement our game uh, with the grass. You guys are having. Um Two games coming up also against Cincinnati, a uh, rival that you guys kind of struggled with before. It's like a comeback game. And then you have the U.S. Open quarterfinal, very important for the city of Orlando. Mentally, how do you prepare for that, having obviously recoup um, four points out of the six? Yeah, those are two very important games for us uh, now until the end of the month. Uh, right now we're just focusing on uh, Cincinnati. We know they have a really good team. They beat us here. So we, we have to go there and show them uh, what we're capable of. And uh, we're going out there to get all the three points. And, uh, and then we'll think about, uh, about Nashville and the Open Cup. But right now our focus is on uh, Cincinnati and, and getting the win. I feel like we got that second goal and maybe we, we slacked a little bit because we felt like the game was, uh, was over and we're gonna, we were going to win it either way. And uh, maybe we got a little bit uh, out of focus in the back and then they ended up scoring because the teams uh, in this league, if you're, if you're not focused, they're gonna, they're gonna punish you, and that's what they did. And then uh, we ended up suffering a little bit, but uh, I'm glad that we held on and we got the win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was trying to cross it to, to our agent. Uh, it got a little bit short, and Jake was right there on the, on the right spot at the right time. And he got the flick, and then we got the goal, so I'm happy that, uh, that we scored. Hey, uh, Joao, after the uh, Pedro playing the Intercontinental Playoff, unfortunately, Peru did not qualify for the World Cup. He flew from Qatar all the way to Boston. Um, what does that tell you about the type of player Pedro is? And uh, what do you guys tell him in the locker room uh, after the defeat? Yeah, that's just the type of guy that, uh, that Pedro is. Obviously a very tough uh, defeat for him. Not qualifying to the World Cup, it's always, it's always tough. Uh, but he's really strong uh, mentally. And uh, yeah, when, we got, when he got to Boston, he was uh, ready to play. And that really made an impact on the team because he was a, he's a really good leader for us. And uh, he's an example. And then he played the whole 90 minutes and he, he had a really good game. Thank you.